Howdy folks, uh, today we're doing a follow-up video on one I did a couple of weeks ago on uh, internal combustion engines and open TX and the way to set it up and in that video, I'll link to it below, but I was showing how to use various throttle curves to, to give you various or specific throttle outputs for starting an internal combustion engine. Now that was on a turbine example and once I started setting up uh, this gas-powered airplane, I realized there's a better way to do it. It's simpler and it gives, it's more effective, it gives you more carburetor control. So I'm just going to grab the radio now that we've got the cowling off and I'll show you what I've done. We'll go into the radio programming to show how I've accomplished it. And at the end, we'll see if it actually works on this thing when we fire it up. Hope it shows up. Just lowered the camera angle so you can actually see the throttle control rod. So this is going to the throttle body on the carburetor. This rod is actually the choke. I've got it, I've just got it assigned to a three position Colder. switch on the radio here. I think you're forgetting something. So it's Colder. right closed to prime the engine. I think you're mid, forgetting something. And then wide engine open. On. Uh, but what we want to look at is the throttle here. Now if you looked at that first video I did, I'll link to it uh, if you wanted to take a peek, you don't have to, but in that I talked about why digital trims are kind of sucky for internal combustion engine control. It's just, it, it, it's a pain using a digital trim to fine tune your idle position of your throttle body. So what I've done here, I've still got normal control of the, let's turn that off, down, so I've still got normal throttle, so at low stick, the carburetor barrel is right closed. This wouldn't start, it's starving it of air, completely turned off, this is how you'd shut it off. Low stick, and then high stick, carburetor barrel's fully open. So the question is, how do you control idle? So what I've done is I use uh, the multiplexing, just like we did in that other video, but instead of the replace function and using different throttle curves, I've used a special idle only throttle curve and using the using the add function and I'll go into the programming but I just want to show you how that works so again throttles right closed now but I've got the add function assigned to this uh, dial and if you look at the throttle arm you can see it creeping off of right closed to about 20 percent open and you can actually see that on I've got my throttle channel output right here and you can see if I dial it right down, 0% throttle body right closed, dial it all the way up, it goes up to 20% for starting. At idle, I'm hoping to be somewhere around the mid position of this dial. Now you don't you can assign it to anything, it doesn't have to be this dial. You could have it to your six position switch, you could have it to a back dial, you could have it to you know a slider, whatever's on your specific radio that you've got OpenTX loaded onto. If you're curious of how I've got how I've programmed that um, in the radio, we'll uh, we'll go over that right now. Well, let's see if we can explain this here. Turn it on. You turn me on. Engine on. Low rates. Rudder low. Thank you. Again, just my simple method of doing this. Open TX. You can achieve the same thing so many different ways. So we'll go into our model setup and scroll over to our inputs. Anyone who's familiar with OpenTX, um, this will be very basic. So for our throttle input, uh, we'll just go into the edit. Um, so I just call it throttle, source, throttle stick, weight, default 100%, offset, default zero, curve, default diff 0%, and that will give us you know, a nice linear uh, throttle output. Uh, stick output, you know, see the cursor following the uh, linear line as we move the stick. So nothing exciting there. Mixer, before we go into our mixer, I'll go into outputs. Yeah, you probably have to set the mixer up first, but this is obvious. But for your, whatever your channel is, for your, um, your throttle channel, in this case, I've got mine to channel one, uh, you would set your low and high outputs. Uh, so the throttle body is fully closed when the stick is in the low position. So you would dial this value up or down until your throttle body is fully closed. And 
fully open in the up position. Just wanted to show that real quick. Ooh, it went too far. And we'll go to our throttle curves because this is where the uh, where we get to do all this interesting stuff. So for our normal curve, uh, this would just be a zero, a zero to minus 100% to plus 100%. We'll go in. So I've just called it normal throttle curve, type is standard, just using two points, one at the low and one at the high. So minus 100 plus 100. Nothing exciting there. I should mention this is for an airplane, so you know we're only using the one, really the throttle output for the one purpose, to control the engine speed. On a helicopter you would, you could have after the curve two, like I showed in that other video, uh, you could have an idle up which would replace both of those, an idle up one, an idle up two, which would replace the idle up one and anything above it, and then your hold curve, which would replace any of those. And like I showed in that first video, in the multiplexing, you use the replace function, and it will replace whatever's ahead of it. Um, but in this case, just an airplane, so we're just setting up that normal one, and then the curve two, this is the uh, that idle one, uh, can see what I've done here, so I've just called it THI, throttle idle, and again two points. Very low is 0% or minus 100, so throttle body is fully closed, but in the uh, fully open position uh, I've got it set to minus 60%. So throttle body is, you know, it's off fully closed, probably to a fast idle position. You'll have to experiment with that on your setup, but that's Kind of where you want to see it. Maybe 20, you know, at the at the 25 percent line would be about as high as you'd want to go. Throttle the throttle body 25 percent. That would give a pretty fast idle. But you know, you know your engine uh, and where it kind of idles. So set that accordingly. And now we'll go back into multiplexing. So for our mixer for our channel one, our first our first mix is very basic. Uh, this is our normal curve. Source is the throttle input, so our throttle stick. See the output here. If you remember, we had plus and minus 82% on our travel range. So you can see that's what we're getting there. So the weight's 100%, nothing exciting there. Offset zero, curve. This is where you'd go from differential, which is the default, to the custom, and you'd select that normal curve. So we got that nice linear output, and that's what we're seeing with the throttle stick. Now, you'll add a second mix into that channel one. And for this one, we'll go to edit. You can see both of these. This one has the source as the throttle. This one has the source as my S1 dial. I'll show you how to configure that. And it's showing that the first one is using the normal throttle curve. And the second one that we're adding in is throttle idle. So we'll go into edit. So mix name, I just called this one carb, carburetor um, setting, I suppose. Now source, uh, again, we've got it set to the S1 dial, uh, depending on your radio though. You know, this is the Horus, but uh, you know, whatever radio you're using with OpenTX, you can assign it to whatever uh, slider you want. But this gives a really fine resolution using this dial. You could also set up to your six position but then you've got these, you've got indexed outputs. So not as much resolution, you could still do it that way. You could set it to one of your back dials. But again, I'm just setting it up on this S1 dial. Uh, weight, oops. Weight 100%, offset 100%, and curve, this is where you would select that throttle idle curve. And multiplexing, you make sure this is add. And what that does is it adds that curve to the other one. So you can see that when I, this is right down at minus 82. You know, at minus with the stick in full low. And it will go up to about minus 49 it, when this is dialed right up. So that's your idle control there while still giving you full throttle control. You're adding this dial to your throttle output. And what else did I want to show here? That's really about it. 
Um, we'll just go back into here. You can see how this works. Again, full, full 0 to 100%, and yet we can dial that up to 20%. Now, one thing I do want to show you here, though, is you'll notice, with say it's up there, that's a really fast idle, I assume, but if you got it set there when you... Uh, when you move this up, because you're adding this output to the output already of the throttle channel, Ten. you'll notice that before the stick is in the full position, it's already topped out at 100%, and you've lost, you know, this much resolution on your throttle stick at the top end. So that's no good. So how do we how do we um, how do we fix that? Well, this is my simple way of doing it. If uh, we go back into the curves. So, you know, we're at minus 60 there. So if we went to, or sorry, our idle curve, if we went to our normal curve, what we could do is take, go down to 60% output. And we'll see now when we move this up, you know, we've got full resolution right to the top of the stick. But that would be if this was set at fast idle. I don't expect it to be idling at that. I want it to be idling somewhere in the middle. So, say we're idling somewhere, you know, in the middle here. Um, we've still not got full throttle output. So again, we'll go back into that curve. And this, you're just going to have to play around with this, depending on your setup. And where you've got your idle point, your slow idle point. And you basically want to have it at the slowest idle and set this to the highest output that gives you 100%. So I'm going to go to 75 here. Now let's see what happens. So yeah, so it, it, assuming this was my lowest dial setting for my lowest uh, idle speed, you know, 12% output, I've still got full 100% and I've got the full range of stick resolution. Now, say I'm idling down here at my low idle. You know, there I wouldn't have quite full 100% output, so I'd have to dial that curve up a little bit. So again, that's just my simple way of doing it. You know, there might be ways to use elaborate uh, logical switch. Well, I, I don't like the term logical switch. I think they should be called logical functions. But you could probably figure out a logical function that would uh, alleviate that issue. And yeah, again, this is just those two curves. So if that was the normal curve for helicopters, that would be your starting curve. And in idle up one, you'd have, you know, your flat line or whatever your higher idle speed output would be for idle up one, idle up two and hold. And you could do the same thing with hold here. You know, if you didn't want to, you know, when you land, you come in and then you have to turn this to close the throttle body to kill the engine. You know, you could assign a kill engine switch to a um, to your hold toggle uh, which would be assigned to a zero percent throttle curve you could have replace that would override everything else just make sure when you're flying you don't hit that because that would kill the engine then so now that I've hopefully explained that not too boringly uh, I'll put the cowling back on the on the on the aircraft here we'll fuel it up and see how this actually works see where we're idling at Time to see if we can get this rascal running. So, it's got go go juice in it. Uh, first thing I gotta do is close the choke. We've gotta prime the engine. Okay. So, that will close the choke. I'm gonna open the throttle right up. Uh, dial this up. I've got my ignition switch off. I don't want the spark plug firing. Again, I'm just turning it over now to uh, okay. prime it. Hopefully it's primed now. Close, open the choke back up. Turn this to idle. Throttle right down. So now the carburetor is just slightly open. 20% output. Ignition on.
drives the engine of air. So that's my simple method of uh, configuring internal combustion engine with using the multiplex and the add function to add a dial or a slider or whatever to control your throttle output um, at, for idle, your, your carburetor output at idle while still maintaining full stick uh, control. Hopefully, uh, if, if you wanted to use that for yourself for internal combustion engine, whether it's gas or nitro, the same method would apply. Cheers, folks.